Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to wherever and whenever you are. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, just a quick first note, I wanted to say thank you very much to everyone who watched my previous video on the initial impressions review on the Speed Twin. It's actually performing much better than I was expecting. I'm very grateful for everyone's feedback as well. All the feedback, good, bad, ugly, indifferent. Um, so just a quick thank you on that one. Today's video is a bit experimental. This is my first vlog on the channel. Um, today is just going to be a nice day out where we're going to go for a nice long ride through the southeast of England, through some nice countryside. Um, and we're also going to follow that up with a nice hike along the Seven Sisters on the south coast near Eastbourne. Uh, the weather forecast is a little bit iffy today. It might rain, but we should get away with it. I'm joined today by my wonderful partner Ellie, and it should be a really good day out. So stick around and stay tuned. So just before we head off to the trail, we've stopped off at the nice little village here of Alfriston, uh, just for a bit of breakfast and a spot of coffee. We've had a quick wander around just to look at the sights and it is a lovely, beautiful little village. We've just come here to this um, surprisingly secluded part. See what you think.
So, we've just got back to the car park. Uh, we're just about to head off to the trail. Before we do, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the gear that myself and Ellie are currently wearing. Indeed, uh, for continuity purposes, you probably would have seen me wear this in the last video as well. I say probably, you did. Starting with the helmet, we have the, uh, it's discontinued now, unfortunately, but they do have the next version of it. This is the Arai Repeat. Um, definitely my favorite lid of choice. Very comfortable, um, lots of smart features in it, including these little sort of brow vents here. Very good for a hot day. Pin lock, of course. Handmade in Japan, five year warranty. Brilliant looks as well. You really can't get better. The only thing is the visor mechanism I have a problem with, which is very fiddly to operate even without gloves on. Other than that, brilliant helmet. Uh, the jacket, the stripy sleeves, of course, you saw me wear this in the last video. This is a John Doe XTM motor shirt, which I've customized here with a badge or two. Um, that's a slowly growing badge collection, which you'll see evolve over more videos. But yes, uh, these retail, I think, for about £235, uh, AAA rated, they look fantastic. Not the coolest riding shirt you can think of because they are lined, they do have a liner on the inside. You can get riding shirts with single layers, which are much better. This is still pretty cool though. You do have vents, I think, here as well and at the back, which help a bit. Overall though, for most of the year, certainly the warmest half of the year, this is what I like to wear every day and it just looks cool as well. Uh, trousers, I have the Panda Moto Desert Cargo. These are AA rated. I think they retail for 249 if I remember correctly. They come with hip and knee armor as well, which you can remove from the outside pockets, which I absolutely love. Desert Cargo, it's not exactly the kind of junior weather you'd wear for today, but they look pretty cool. They're nice and cool on the bike. Uh, they've got loads of pockets on them as well, which I absolutely love. Very practical. I'm always finding stuff in there which I've completely forgotten about, so it's just fantastic. Uh, and for gloves, I almost forgot. Uh, I have the Merlin Ranger gloves, which are, I would say, more of a mid-season, sort of winter slash mid-season glove. They are waterproof. Uh, they have D3O armor in them, in the knuckles, which is fantastic because it's lovely and soft and bendy and it's not too rigid on your knuckles. Uh, they have touchscreen sensitivity as well on the fingers and index thumbs. And for most of the year, apart from maybe the very hottest of days, I absolutely love them and they fit really nicely. So yeah, that is a very quick rundown of my gear. Um, oh, I also have, not forgetting, not forgetting, not forgetting, the uh, Knox backpack. I can't remember what the name of this is, um, but I absolutely love it. I've just used the pocket in here just to uh, carry a helmet around with us when we're going around the village, which is absolutely brilliant. Lots of handy features, uh, including a laptop compartment just at the back here. Uh, it is waterproof. It has a wax cotton outer to look pretty cool. At the time when I bought it, I think it retailed for about 90 pounds. Uh, and yeah, lots of really, really cool features and it just looks fantastic. Loads of space on the inside. Um, as a nice added feature as well, which I only discovered fairly recently on a flight to Spain, this actually for, certainly for EasyJet and a lot of other liners, um, airlines rather, this actually fits perfectly in the maximum dimensions for cabin luggage. So it's very convenient for that and sort of maximizing the amount of space you have. You do also get uh, a couple of straps as well, just to go around your chest. So when you're riding on the bike, it moves with you. It doesn't slide about or anything like that. One around your kidneys and one around your chest as well. So yeah, that is my kit. And for Ellie here, starting at the top, we have the HJC V10. Uh, which is her choice. Uh, very good one indeed. Very good value for money if you're looking to start out. If you're looking to get a helmet which is very feature rich, um, has a pin lock as well and just looks incredible. Um, a nice feature as well of this one is that you can actually take the visor off without the aid of any tools, 
which is a very lovely touch indeed. For the jacket, she's currently borrowing a, a little oversized, I think, uh, but it's the John Doe Explorer jacket. Um, wind resistant, designed as a bit of a wind cheater jacket, based on the, um, I can't remember if it's the M59, sort of the old military style jacket. That's what it's loosely based on. AAA rated, lots of pockets as well, and looks fantastic if you're sort of after that military look as well. Uh, for the jeans, again, we come back to John Doe. These are the John Doe Ruby jeans, which are AAA rated. Um, again, come with knee and hip armor. It's adjustable inside the pockets as well with the aid of some Velcro. Gloves as well. Those are the Revit Red Hill, the women's ones, which are the ochre yellow, if I remember correctly. But they're water resistant. They've got perforated, perforated leather. Um, and they're a fantastic mid-season option as well. So uh, yeah, that is a rundown of the gear for Ellie. So that concludes the video for today. Uh, we've just had a nice four mile walk across the, the, seven, <laughs> across the seven Sisters. Uh, really nice view, the weather held up even though it wasn't necessarily supposed to, which is always a pleasant bonus. We didn't have to get the waterproofs out or anything like that. We did Alfriston, we did the Seven Sisters, and all in all, just a really nice way to spend a Sunday. If you've watched my previous videos as well, thank you very much for your support so far. It really, really does mean a lot. Um, and if you haven't seen my other videos, then be sure to check them out. Be sure to let me know what you think. Um, until then, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, let me know what you think. My first ever sort of vlog attempt, so very keen to get your feedback. Let me know what I missed, let me know what you think. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. So ciao, ciao for now.